So it sounds like Marvel Studios higher-ups are not satisfied with the direction of the MCU. Based on some criticism from fans and critics alike, the MCU will take deeper analysis moving forward. This means changes to the Phase 5 and 6 lineups and possible plots, and even cancellations. Phase 4 concluded with Wakanda Forever, and it honestly ended on a good high. That doesn't mean the Phase has not had some shortcomings, however. Fans are pretty mixed at best with She-Hulk, burnt out with Taikia's door. Another thing I would say too is that the Multiverse of Madness was a shortcoming for me personally. I expected the MCU to go further into exploring the multiverse after a solid season 1 from Loki. There are some good highlights from films like No Way Home and Shang-Chi and Wakanda Forever, and honestly most of the TV shows have been pretty okay or solid for the most part. I think Marvel Studios is finding their footing with different tones on TV. The movies however could be a bit better. I think back to the 2012-2015 run of Marvel Studios films, minus Thor The Dark World, the MCU hype and praise was pretty close to universal. But what specific things does Marvel Studios want to reevaluate internally? With Bob Chapek out and Bob Iger back in, what differences will take place in the creative department? A new report from the Cosmic Circus has some clues into how Iger's return will shake up Marvel Studios. The first thing highlighted from the rumor chatter was the oversaturation of their projects. After Endgame, most fans expected a cool down and near hiatus from the studio overall. Up until that point, most MCU phases had less active projects. However, Phase 4 has produced 19 projects across TV, film, and animation. The specific reason the saturation is a problem is because of how thin they're spread out. Fans aren't given a chance to breathe in and take the MCU films anymore. They're waiting for the next TV show from Marvel Studios too. This could be a hindrance on the TV projects especially. It's more difficult to keep audiences coming to your platform on a weekly episode basis versus watching it just in the film. Other streaming platforms also add to the oversaturation in general. According to the Cosmic Circus, this has all led to a reevaluation of the multiverse saga. Before this report, you'd have to think the MCU was going to get more wild with the additions and of older actors from different franchises to add on to the multiverse saga. A solution speculated in the article also claims that a quality control from Disney, i.e. possibly Bob Iger, that Bob Iger speculation is just on my end because he's known to be more hands-on with his Disney franchises, especially compared with Bob Chapek, and that includes Marvel Studios. I think Iger does have a level of care and respect for the franchises, so this could be a good direction in the favor of Marvel Studios. Another idea floated was to do more special presentations for their projects rather than the full TV season. The Marvel Studios special presentations are single specials and don't have the constraints of a TV budget. The specials also require less time and commitment from actors than films. I like this idea personally, especially if Marvel Studios wants to translate team ups from the comic books. It makes schedules for MCU characters more flexible as well. But comment and tell me if you think that this idea could work. Before I give my final thoughts, I'd like for you to give this video a thumbs up and hit that like button. Drop a sub and help me get that subscribers number going up. As for the projects currently active, this change will only affect those that are still in pre-production. So Disney won't be pulling up Warner Brothers Discovery and cutting projects already filmed and edited. All possible scenarios for pre-production projects include postponement, changes in format, release schedules, and overall cancellation. So keep your eyes peeled for any canceled projects that might be coming soon. This obviously affects the multiverse saga in a big way. I think Phase 5 won't change that much leading up to Kang Dynasty. I think most of that storyline is being told right now. Shang-Chi, Miss Marvel, Ant-Man, and all others are all rumored and possibly connected with Kang the Conqueror already. That doesn't mean TV projects are safe in my opinion though. I think the most likely outcome is that you'll see these TV projects turn into special presentation or single films. Marvel Studios is going to be making a big attempt to thin out their projects for audiences to take in. Phase 4 might have felt like MCU on overdrive, but this change should slow things down. A good change in my opinion, but let me know what you think about this upcoming change for the MCU. I'll be doing a proper ranking for all Phase 4 projects for the end of the year, so keep your eyes open for that coming soon. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope you stuck around long enough to drop a like. If you did subscribe, tell me in the comments below. And share your thoughts on topics like this one and others by clicking on the right side of your screen. I appreciate your support, and this has been Joel from Real Talk Movies. See you soon.